and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be looking at the differences between primary and secondary infertility now there are women who have never conceived in their lives and there are some who had been pregnant or had one or two babies and then they have not been able to achieve conception again so in this video we are going to be looking at the difference between the primary and the secondary infertility please if you're watching me don't go anywhere ensure you watch this video to the end and please share so others can learn from them if you are new on this channel please click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you get updates when there's a new video and for my returning subscribers I want to say thank you so much for being here please give this video a thumbs up as you watch and ensure you watch to the end primary infertility is when a pregnancy has never been achieved before there are women who have never been pregnant before in their entire existence so in this situation what you have is primary infertility and then secondary infertility is actually when the woman have had a previous pregnancy before it could be one or two pregnancies but then she is no longer able to have another pregnancy so that is when secondary infertility come into play now in the case of primary infertility you need to try with your spouse or partner for at least one year before you begin to get worried now if you have tried with your spouse for at least a year and you have still not achieved conception that is when you go see your gynae to get checked to ascertain what the problem is and then in the case of secondary infertility you need to try for at least six months before you begin to worry because in this case you have actually achieved conception before it is not like you have not had conception you have and then all of a sudden you are no longer able to conceive so in this case you wait for six months if you have not achieved pregnancy in six months you go see your gynae so you get checked so that the root cause is known now the causes of primary infertility and secondary infertility is usually is the causes of primary and secondary infertility is intertwined this is because whether primary or secondary infertility is actually infertility but there are slight differences between the two causes now with primary infertility age can be a cause now in this case maybe the woman have never been pregnant all her life but she is no longer young deciding to try for pregnancy maybe at the age of 40 45 42 or early 40s then there is a possibility that you could have issues with infertility because fertility actually declines with age and as a woman begins to age the quality of the egg the quantity of the egg in the, in the ovarian reserve diminishes so in this case you will have issues with with conceiving and then that is primary infertility despite you are aged that is the first time you're trying to conceive so it is classified as primary infertility primary infertility can also result from tubal blockage it is possible that a woman has tubal blockage from infection stis that have gone untreated over time and then by the time she's deciding to have babies she cannot because the tubes have already been blocked and all of this can be known when you have gone for checkups now another cause of primary infertility is pcos that's pcos is polycystic ovarian syndrome and it's a hormonal condition that affects the ovary in this case in this case there is in this case the presence of the male hormone testosterone is high in the woman's system so there is a possibility of irregularity with menstruation and also irregular ovulation and even anovulation so women with pcos who are trying for the first time to conceive can actually have issues with conception this is actually primary infertility because they've not had babies before we also have endometriosis now women with endometriosis whether they've been pregnant before or not we have issues with conception and endometriosis is a case where the cells that line the uterus the womb actually grows outside the womb it can decide to grow into the cervix and other places in the reproductive tract imagine if the cells that line the eyes are now growing out to the face it is going to actually cause deformity to the eye so that is the same thing that happens with the uterus so in the case of endometriosis that is what happened and it can actually 
make a woman not to be able to get pregnant another cause is obesity now obesity is excessive weight gain so if you have if you if you are obese then you need to begin to work on how to lose weight so obesity can actually cause a woman not to get pregnant whether it is the first time or second time ensure you maintain healthy weight ensure you are not obese and ensure that you are not underweight because being underweight also is a cause of primary infertility it can make a woman not to be able to conceive so if you are actually intending to conceive then you need to maintain a healthy weight watch your exercise routine and also the kind of meals you consume just ensure that you maintain a healthy weight so, and the last one is structural issues with the ovaries the uterus and the fallopian tube it is possible that the uterus can be positioned in such a way that there is no direct opening into it and when there is a release of sperm it cannot actually get into the uterus and then to travel to the fallopian tube for fertilization and also structural defects with the ovaries and even the fallopian tube and this actually results as congenital defects from when the child is born so structural defects that has to do with position of the ovary position of the uterus and the rest of them can also affect a woman's ability to conceive all right so these are some of the causes of primary infertility now let's look at the causes of secondary infertility number one is complication from a prior pregnancy and surgery now it is possible that the woman developed some complications from her previous pregnancy and sometimes the woman will actually have cesarean section during delivery which can cause scarring of the uterus and then affect the ability to conceive again so complication from a pregnancy before can actually cause a woman to have secondary infertility and inability to conceive again after she has had her baby so if you have such you need to get checked so you are treated as quickly as possible another one is increased weight now if you have added more weight than you had before your previous conception then you need to ensure you work on the weight because this can actually impair your ability to get pregnant so if you have had babies before and you were trying this time and having difficulty you need to check your weight it is possible that you have added much and much and much fat than before it is possible that you have gained a lot of weight since the last time you were pregnant so ensure you check your weight and then work towards uh, having a moderate weight number three is stds it is possible that you've been exposed to some sexually transmitted diseases like trachomonas chlamydia and the rest of them and this infection uh, sexually transmitted infections and diseases if not treated can actually cause damage to the womb damage to the tubes and even your ovaries so if you have been exposed to sexually transmitted diseases since after you had the previous pregnancy then you will have difficulty conceiving again so ensure that you get checked with your healthcare provider your gynae and then you were treated of any 